Can I start now? Okay, so yeah, our next speaker is Wen Weili from Peking University, and he will talk about stable trace format for metaplectic group, meta groups. Okay, thank you. Okay, you can so, so thank you very much for uh, invitation to a Pacific Ring uh, conference. So the cover picture is just a randomly chosen picture from the Museum of uh, Auckland, I think. So it's taken in 1968, I think. Mm -hmm. So uh, the topic today is actually an old topic. So I guess many of you have heard about this uh, maybe uh, three or four times. And uh, this is this was actually a, a topic of my thesis. So, but recently uh, I'm picking it up and uh, I hope there are some progress uh, in this direction so I can finally uh, finish it up in the near fu future. So, um, okay. So, Picture is from Oakland Museum of California. <laughs> okay, and uh, uh, well, I will talk about the stable trace formula for metaplectic groups. So here are some uh, references, complete list of references. Okay, so the story uh, comes from uh, Arthur's work. So it is James Arthur's uh, lifelong project to work on the trace formula and uh, its stabilization. So this is finally uh, essentially finished in the early uh, 20s. 21st century. And then also apply this to a study of uh, representation theory of the classical group. And uh, uh, the next few references are about the metaplectic groups, which I will. Yes? You, you, his screen is frozen, right? Is he just... No. Uh, I only uh, see the first page. You only see the first page? Uh, okay. Yeah. So. It seems your screen is uh, frozen. Uh, wait, wait. Uh, wait. So let me show it again. Okay, can you see? Okay, yeah. yeah. Another page? Okay, okay thank you. this is so, the page. Ah, okay. Yeah, so okay, okay, yeah, okay, sure. Okay, great, okay. List of references. Okay. So, okay, so, okay, so uh, there are some uh, earlier papers, right, written uh, myself and uh, some other people uh, on metaplastic group. So, okay, I will now move to uh, details. So I think the main reference is actually this one, the paper by McLean and Rasbiger on the stabilization of the twisted trace formula, which, I, which inspired me uh, a lot in this project. So what is a trace formula? Uh, in Zhen Jiang's talk, uh, he already mentioned about this. And, let me fix some notations. So F is a number field. I won't consider a function field case. And uh, we take A to be the ring of Adels and G to be a connected reductive group such as G or N, for example. So the goal of uh, Langlands program or automorphic theory is to study the spectral decomposition of this uh, L2 space of the automorphic quotient. Right? Uh, here, uh, I replace GA by some smaller group called GA1. So the goal is to ensure that the ma major of this coset is finite. This, doesn't, this is not a very important point anyway. And we want to decompose this L2 space. So for example, uh, Arthur's conjecture says it should have a canonical uh, orthogonal uh, decomposition indexed by something called uh, Arthur parameters. It's, it's based on some other conjectures, but it serves as a very uh, important source of inspiration in Langlands program. Even for GLN, it's still, um, I mean, uh, the structure of automorphic spectrum is still uh, largely uh, mysterious. So uh, the idea of trace formula is to access this problem problem through an equality of two uh, distributions. One, so one side is called the geometric set and the other called the spectral set. So the spectral set contains some main tens, which are sums of uh, characters of uh, irreducible uh, automorphic representations, say uh, in a discrete spectrum. And uh, on a in a geometric side, we have the main tens, uh, the orbital integrals mentioned in Zhang Jiang's talk. And they are again, uh, again, the representations are weighted by multiplicities and uh, the orbital integrals are weighted by something easier, 
Tamagawa measures. So there is a missing gamma here. G gamma uh, in my talk will always mean a connected centralizer of gamma. Okay. So one example, one typical example, a typical family of examples is, is to deduce uh, cases of functionality by comparing geometric size of different groups. Module a lot of details, of course. So I, I will be a very quick uh, in this uh, part. The difficulty uh, is that uh, there are um, proper sub the V and uh, equivalently uh, there is a com continuous spectrum in the uh, L2. It's also uh, equivalent to a non compactness of the automorphic quotient. So invariant trace formula contains many other terms. Uh, well, other ways to write it, write the uh, distribution um, I uh, as a sum indexed by the V subgroups. So here IGM is a uh, invariant distribution uh, which has uh, some further expansions indexed by either conjugacy classes or representations uh, coming from F. And it's based on many, many other to many tools. For example, a truncation operator. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so, so uh, okay. So, uh, well, I, I don't have time to uh, explain all the details in the trace formula, but let me see what are the main uh, actors in this story. So. In the geometric side, uh, given M, we have some local uh, distributions, IGM gamma indexed by conjugacy classes in M. So they are just some invariant version of orbital integrals weighted by some, some weight factors. And the uh, spectral side, we have the same thing, but that's indexed by unitary representations of M. They are called weighted characters. So in general, if M is not equal to G, and I think there's almost nothing explicit can be said about these distributions. But when G equals M, we recover the usual orbital integrals and the characters, and they are the main terms we want. But the, the terms G equals M in the trace formula also contain some other shadows. We, we don't care about it in this talk. All right, so, so I'm going really fast, sorry. So the known applications are, for example, jacquet langlands correspondence between uh, GL2 and uh, this inner forms, or even GLN, it's known. And also the cyclic phase change and automorphic induction for GLN. And uh, finally, Arthur's recent work on endoscopic classification for classical groups. So the last case um, requires actually a stable trace formula and uh, some twisted version. So that's finally uh, completely uh, justified by the work of Mugai and Rush And uh, the, ba I mean, uh, the basic formalism of stabilization uh, is based on so-called endoscopy, twisted endoscopy. And this is story of uh, no results concerning uh, linear reductive groups. Uh, okay, so let's see what the stable trace formula looks like. According to us, it expresses the IG, the distribution in the trace formula is the sum indexed by elliptic endoscopic data. Uh, here we have some easy coefficients, delta here, and some stable distribution on G prime. Here, G prime is the so-called endoscopic group attached to the endoscopic data. So here we have the both phase G prime. Here we have a normal G prime as the group, and here it is the, it's the data. So S G prime is the some stable distribution whose definition is part of the stabilization process. And the F prime is the so-called transfer of test functions from G to G prime. It's the local local stuff. Yeah, so please uh, remember this formula because we will return to some variants of this later on. So, 
So my talk is about the metapolitic cover. So uh, let me recall this definition. So, okay, that's SP2M to be a sympathetic group of rank N and like mu M to be a M group of M roots of unities say in C. So the global metapolitic covering according to a way is a central extension of SP2NA by mu eight. So some people feel uneasy with mu eight because usually we use the twofold covering. Yeah, but that's not so essential. And I will explain why I make this choice. So um, some um, basic properties, first uh, there is a canonical splitting over the rational element. So you can form automorphic quotient as before and define uh, automorphic forms. And uh, the construction of this covering depends on some data from linear algebra, for example. We, actually, we have to choose a synthetic space. I mean, to choose a synthetic form and also an additive character. And uh, it is a restricted product of local coverings as you expect, but you have to module some garbage so, to make it. Um, it's, that's a very easier trick. Uh, it can be reduced. So this central cover, central extension by mu eight is, it can be uh, reduced to mu two. For example, you can take the derived group and you will get an extension by mu two. But uh, well, I always use the eightfold covering. The reason will be uh, explained uh, later on. Yeah, this is the global and the local metapolitic coverings. So why do we want to study this? Uh, or more uh, precisely study the genuine representations. Uh, representation is called genuine if mu eight acts uh, tautologically. Yeah. So the relevance of the covering is uh, associated to theta lifting and theta functions and so on. So for example, theta functions are, can be viewed as uh, automorphic representations um, genuine uh, re automorphic representations on metapolitic group. And uh, uh, by using uh, the theta, theta lift, uh, the representation theory of uh, metapolitic groups um, are nowadays uh, quite well understood by the works by Gang uh, Savin and Gang Ichino. And uh, of course, there are some other people involved in this program. But all these uh, are based on uh, theta. So this is something which is external to the metapolitic group. So you have to embed it into a larger group and do some uh, smart uh, tricks. And uh, another relevance is uh, related to a so-called Langlands program for covering groups due to uh, Martin Weissman. So he uh, considered more general coverings called the uh, Brilansky Devin linear extensions of connected reductive groups uh, and the metapolitic group is just a special instance. So there are many other such coverings, for example, a covering of GLN appeared in Cashdown Peterson's work and also some higher coverings of synthetic groups, not just twofold, but just any, any degree. So I, I think it's Recently, uh, there are some work by uh, Sola Freeberg. I saw him in the, in the attendees. So, but I'm sorry, uh, I, I forget the names of his co-authors. But anyway, uh, the higher coverings of SP2 also appear naturally, and there are some analog of theta lifting here. With David Ginsburg. Oh, sorry? With uh, David uh, Ginsburg. Ah, OK, thank you. So it's Freiburg and Ginsburg and uh, yeah. Okay, so uh, maybe we can say that if you understand the, the metapolitic group reasonably well, then you will get some clue for higher coverings. I hope so. So, and uh, it's simpler than other coverings because of the following 
feature. So two elements in the covering commute, the local covering, if and only if their images commute. In, in general, they, they are different. I mean, uh, for the other covers, they are usually different, but for SP two and they turn out to be the same. So this simplifies uh, the choice formula a lot, the choice formula for SP two and But the problem is uh, about the choice formula for SP two and itself, because it is something we have to prove. It's, it's a highly non-trivial stuff for us. Uh, so, okay. So let me say something about trace formula for uh, coverings. So uh, most results in uh, harmonic analysis extend to uh, covers. So for example, uh, consider our G tilde. So you might expect something the same as before. So you just put a tilde above every group. We hope for such a equality, but uh, this is known, uh, currently known uh, under some assumptions. At first, you need a satake isomorphism at unramified places. This is well known for the metaphysic covering. And even for Bridansky, the linear coverings, it is, it is uh, known. So, Something even more technical is the trace uh, Pelli uh, Lina theorem for Archimedean place. So uh, I don't know how to prove this in general, uh, but for metaphysic group and uh, its the V subgroup is again it's, it can be uh, proved. So okay, so the conclusion is okay. We still have an invariant trace formula as in Arthur's case. But uh, we want to, you, if we want to uh, compare trace formulas to uh, study the automorphic spectrum, then as in the uh, classical case, uh, we still need a uh, stabilization. And uh, uh, this requires a theory, a reasonable theory of endoscopy for our groups. So you can say that the trace formula itself is something analytic Everything is about uh, harmonic analysis. But the stabilization is something uh, arithmetic. There are some cohomologies, some arithmetic inside the theory. So it's highly non-trivial for, for coverage. Let me uh, take a quick, quick overview of the theory of endoscopy. So, but it's a really quick overview because uh, I don't have that much time. And that's, too technical. So. And uh, by the way, uh, many uh, key results uh, I stated are just a work in progress or maybe uh, so it means uh, I have to written down the complete proof. I hope to uh, finish this uh, as soon as possible. So I, I apologize for, for this. Uh, so endoscopy for sp here. Again, uh, let's denote uh, SP tilde just by G tilde. So, so in both the local and the global cases, we know how to define a dual group. It's, by definition, it's SP2 and C. So this is very funny because that's the dual group of SO2N plus one, right? But uh, SP tilde two N is, is not directly related to SO2N plus one unless you know unless you are expert about theta lifting, right? Anyway, there are some reasons to make this definition. Endoscopic data are, uh, par elliptic endoscopic data are parameterized by pairs, n prime, n second, n, with sum equal to n, and there are no symmetries. So uh, let's denote endoscopic data here by G, G shriek not G prime, because the reason is the prime is used here, so I cannot use prime anymore, G shriek. So uh, attached to uh, the bold face G shriek, I have G shriek, the endoscopic group is just two copies of a split SO, two one plus one. So uh, as in the, uh, as in the case of linear reductive group, we can define a state, 
correspondence of uh, stable conjugacy classes between G and uh, its uh, G shrink. And uh, also define some uh, easy factors, eta. So this, that's really easy. I just don't want to write it down. It's either one or one half or one over, uh, over four. So some really easy factors. And we can also define transfer factors. This is more not trivial. But I will just skip the definition. And then we can define notion of transfer using all these ingredients. So, okay, so in a trace formula, we must consider the Levy subgroups as well. So the Levy of SD2N can be written as follows. So it's the product of SGL and smaller GL times some uh, as smaller SP. So if you use the eightfold covering, then it splits canonically uh, into the, in the simplest way you, you can imagine. So just GL factors times the smaller metaplatic covering. So if you use the twofold covering, it's a little bit too complicated. So, so for the Levy subgroups, of course, everything about GLN is known. So we can always focus on the study of SD tilde. Okay, so uh, we want to study a generic representation through a trace formula. So we need to test functions in the trace formula. So somehow, uh, since your representation is genuine, uh, the test functions are uh, anti-genuine. That means uh, if you uh, replace x by zx, then the function is multiplied by, multiplied by z inverse. So I don't know why I didn't write down the explicit formula right here. Anyway, uh, you know what means by being anti-genuine. Some condition of uh, equivariance. So uh, uh, the first uh, non-trivial results, uh, I mean, the uh, result in my thesis 10 years ago. So it's, uh, it says, okay, uh, endoscopic transfer of test function is known. This is the known result. So uh, also in the unramified case, we have fundamental lemma for units. That means uh, the unit of the anti-genuine uh, Hecker algebra transfer to uh, the unit of the endoscopic uh, analog. So here uh, I skip something. So the, in the unlimited case, the metaplastic cover um, splits canonically over K. K is the group of integ integral points. So you can define the anti-genuine uh, Hecker algebra. It's for units. And uh, in fact, in this case, you can define, you can cook up a canonical map from the anti-genuine algebra to its endoscopic version. It's by the Satake isomorphism for G tilde. It's another thing which I skip. And uh, you can ask for the fundamental lemma in general, which says the transfer of spherical functions is realized by B. So this is done by uh, Luo Cai Hua. Also, we have the weighted version for fundamental lemma that's needed for the trace formula. That's also part of my, my thesis. So uh, this result tells you that uh, the formalism of endoscopy is reasonable. And uh, finally, we also have the uh, stabilization of the elliptic turns. In some uh, earlier work of mine. So what remains is to um, stabilize the other terms. So the elliptic terms, the stable trace formula for elliptic terms is useful for local uh, local problems. For example, uh, the fundamental lemma in general is proven by a local global uh, arguments using such a stabilization, but. If you want uh, global information, we 
have to stabilize everything. So uh, the hope for theorem is something like this. This is an ongoing work. So consider a global metaplatic covering, uh, be it uh, eight fold or two fold, as you like. Then for every attached function, which is a pure tensor, and uh, it is so-called anti-genuine. Uh -huh. uh, you can uh, decompose IG tilde as, as before, as, as in the usual stabilization of us. Here, a uh, cheap G shriek arranged over all elliptic endoscopy data. Here, you have the easy uh, constants as before. And uh, here, you have a stable distribution which has already be de been defined in one of my earlier slides. In fact, it is the stable distribution obtaining other stabilization for the group G shriek. Remember, G shriek is a product of SO2 and plus one. In fact, we know quite a lot of, about the stable distributions. The spectral extension of this distribution is known. It is a sum of uh, stable characters and its coefficients are given in some explicit way. This is called the stable multiplicity formula in Arthur's book for classical groups. So this, this should tell us a lot about the representations of G tilde. Okay. So please feel free to uh, interrupt me if you have any questions. So, okay, so in fact, uh, some uh, standard argument from us uh, should also tell you that the discrete part of the trace formula also match. So discrete means, uh, means the terms with uh, m equals g somehow, if I remember it correctly. It's something about discrete spectrum plus some other information. So, um, so the hope is uh, this can give some information about automorphic spectrum and also local information. For example, we hope for uh, local lines for the local metaplastic groups and also some character relations. Uh, I should remove, I should erase the, the word should because or maybe I shouldn't remove it. Anyway, this information are already known. For example, the local lens is known by using theta correspondence by gamma savin. And uh, you, given that result by gamma savin, you can plug it into the formalism above. Ask if it is compatible somehow with uh, endoscopic classific endoscopic characterizations predicted by endoscopy. Uh, you can formulate this question, but I don't, I didn't write, I don't write it down here. Uh, this is verified by Lo uh, Hua again, using local global arguments, using the elliptic part of the stable trace formula. So uh, for the global side, Gang and Ichino also obtain a multiplicity formula, but only for tempered automorphic, automorphic spectrum. And uh, the resulting formula is compatible, uh, almost compatible with Arthur's conjecture. It tells you uh, the multi multiplicity of uh, representation in the tempered spectrum in terms of some local data and uh, a global data and the uh, root number. But the problem is it's only for tempered spectrum. I don't know if they can push it for the other representations. But anyway, uh, it's, I, uh, we expect that uh, the trace formula should give all, this, all the automorphic spectrum if we can stabilize it. It is also a more reasonable approach somehow, more natural approach. 
So yeah, so we hope to deal with the remaining terms in the automorphic spectrum. So uh, there are two minus signs here. So it's a typo, just one minus sign. It's genuine spectrum. Okay, so the technical part uh, is, uh, okay, so Arthur himself uh, wrote uh, three papers for stabilization. And in fact, that's not enough because he skipped some, some details. And uh, uh, to supply these details, uh, Muglen or Waspilge writes uh, two volumes of books with uh, more than 1,000 pages in total. So. So I can only be very uh, sketchy uh, in the stabilization process. So um, maybe we can say the, the key part of the stabilization is a local geometric statement. So we consider a local metaplatic covering G tilde. Here F is a local field characteristic zero. So uh, the local geometric theorem hoped, which I hoped for is as follows. So remember in the stress formula, I said it's local constituents are something like this. Here we work on the cover, so we have tilde everywhere. It's something indexed by a conjugacy class in M tilde. M tilde is the callback, a pre-image of the covering over some the V group M. And uh, we can attach a geometric distribution here. And uh, we want to equate it with a uh, endoscopic version. So here we have a, a superscript E, uh, E for endoscopy. And uh, there is also a unramified version. And that is easier because we can reduce to a weighted fundamental lemma. Yeah. If you can, if we can prove this directly, then there is a purely a local approach to the stabilization, but things are not so easy. So it will involve a very long induction with uh, local global arguments. But uh, anyway, uh, let's explain what's the endoscopic term here. Let's define something different first. So uh, let's look at the diagram. So we have uh, G tilde here. We have a uh, V subgroup M tilde. And uh, we consider an elliptic endoscopic data or M shrink here. So of course, M tilde is not, it's not a metaplastic group, but it is a product of GL with a smaller metaplastic group. So it makes sense to define its endoscopic data. Just forget about all the GLN vectors because they are trivial. So uh, we start from diagram look like this. And we want to complete it in all possible ways to a square where uh, M shrink is embedded into a Levy C shrink. Uh, and C shrink is, uh, is an elliptic endoscopic data of G tilde. And uh, uh, somehow you can index all the possible completions of this diagram by some letter uh, S. So now we can form the distribution here. So given N shrink delta F, here delta is a stable class in N shrink F. I, write, I wrote a stable geometric distribution just as a jargon somehow. So it's, it really means uh, stable, uh, stable conjugacy class. So, uh, so to this data, we form a, a linear combination of stable distributions attached to G shrink S and the N shrink. And uh, uh, the transfer of F to uh, G shrink. There are a lot of undefined terms. So first, uh, the coefficients I hear is something uh, defined in terms of dual groups, something combinatorial. 
I mean, you can write down a complete formula, but it's maybe not so useful here. And uh, here S is the stable distribution, the local stable distributions defined by Arthur. It's only concerned about the group SO, 2M plus 1. And uh, uh, delta, delta S is a twist by some central element from n F. This is a very funny uh, phenomenon. It's only, uh, to my knowledge, it only appear in the metapolitic in the metapolitic case. If you don't twist it, it won't work. And uh, here is another thing B. If you are an if you are expert of such formula, you will feel um, surprised because in Arthur's work there is no B here. What is the B? It's, it's also a metapolitic feature somehow. The B, B is actually a function, but well, morally it pres prescribes how do you uh, scale the root in a G shriek, in a centralizer of delta S in G shriek. Here uh, it is it's just switch uh, between a uh, type BN, sorry, type BN and uh, CN. So it's a typo. And, uh, okay, and uh, it affects the definition of weighted orbital integrals in some uh, very subtle way. Arthur didn't do this. This can be found in Mugland Wasbiridge's paper, uh, their book. So it's something really technical. And uh, it occurs only in twisted endoscopy and uh, in a metapolitic case. Uh, in fact, when we define a dual group of G tilde, we also rescale the root somehow. And uh, yeah, maybe that's the one reason for the appearance of B function here. But uh, when you uh, pass to the global, global trace formula, um, somehow you can um, get rid of these B functions. But you must, must carry them, uh, carry these functions in a local case on a stable side. It's uh, one of the key difference in the metapolitic case. All right. And uh, uh, once uh, we define this, uh, you can say it, it depends uh, not really on the endoscopic data n shriek and the delta. It depends only on the transfer of delta to n tilde. You can transfer distribution from n shriek to uh, n tilde, and uh, here you just transfer delta. You regard delta as an orbital integral, and then you transfer it to n tilde. That's it. So in this way, uh, you can define it as something indexed by distributions on M tilde, then the, the gamma tilde here. So this might look uh, strange, but if you take G equals M and the gamma is a regular semi-simple element, then this endoscopic stuff is just, is just the, the one side of the transfer identity of orbital integrals. And this is uh, this is the generalization to the general M. Right, so okay, so yeah, something uh, even uh, even more technical. <laughs> so uh, okay, so this is uh, uh, remember we do not assume gamma to be regular. But we want to reduce to a regular case. So uh, if F is non intermediate this can be done by descent and the uh, um, matching result of Shalika gems. It's due to Arthur in the standard case and the uh, Mugland was due in the so-called uh, non-standard endoscopy. Anyway, uh, we can always use the known result. But for Archimedean F, we don't have Chirac gems, and uh, we need a 
more delicate uh, analysis of some maps, uh, some really strange maps, uh, road Z and the Sigma Z. You can find them uh, in the book of the Grand Wash Z is uh, some set of roots. So just forget about it. But uh, one strange phenomenon is we need to deal with some non metaphatic covers. Here we need to consider two metaphatic coverings and uh, take their product somehow, but module some garbage again okay, to get the edford cover. So this cover, uh, they are not very different from the metaphatic cover, but they are somehow, they come as a surprise somehow when F is Archimedean. Well, uh, in fact, the, the proof is uniform for OF, so the same argument also proves the non-Hemidian case. But shall I gems are used in some other place? So the local uh, geometric theorem is reduced to the case where uh, gamma is uh, regular in G, not only in M. All right. So, uh, okay, so we have uh, explained the uh, local geometric theorem, some identity like this. But we haven't proved it. So, here comes the global case. So, remember uh, the main terms in the geometric side of trace formula is just the sum of orbital equals weighted by some coefficients. The coefficients are usually given by Tamagawa numbers. Uh, there are some other, uh, some other terms. So anyway, I don't care about this coefficient. I just uh, package them into some, some geometric distribution, which means a linear combination of orbits. So index them by elliptic uh, semi-simple conjugacy classes in GF. And here we also need to fix the finite set of places that's very large with respect to O. If, if, uh, if, if O is not large enough, uh, sorry, if V is not large enough, uh, we just set this coefficient to be zero. This is just the way to uh, take account of the coefficients in the geometric side. And uh, we, in fact, we have a, a descent formula that express this AG tilde in terms of the coefficients of G gamma attached to the unipotent class, I mean, attached to the trivial class. So when you pass to the centralized, the covering dis disappear and uh, we can use the results of Arthur. So these are somehow uh, something easier than the previous one. So the stabilization of the trace formula can be divided into uh, two pieces. So you have to stabilize the distributions and also the coefficients. So the global goal here is to stabilize the coefficients first. So the first thing is to take a sum uh, over a stable class. And uh, the global descent is something, uh, okay, maybe I, I should put some iota here. Uh, I'm not sure about this. Maybe there is a typo, don't care. Uh, so again, uh, it's, it can be uh, written as a sum of the stable versions indexed by uh, stable classes in G3. That somehow uh, maps corresponds to, to X. This is too abstract, but you can see this as a st stabilization of the elliptic terms. So in the elliptic terms, uh, the coefficients are just Tamagawa numbers. And uh, you know, Tamagawa numbers is related to Galois cohomology. So um, 
in our case, we also have to deal with uh, non abelian Galois cohomologies. And uh, we also need to know something about the unipotent coefficient. But it turns out this, that, uh, this, is, this is accessible. We can, the known result is enough for us. And uh, we can prove this theorem, I hope. Uh, yeah, so I don't have much time, so let me be even more sketchy. So I have uh, stabilized the coefficient, but the geometric theorem haven't been proved. So uh, we want to prove this statement for uh, if gamma is something uh, very regular. So uh, the technique is uh, well known. It's so some key arguments of this uh, proof is called the cancellation of singularities. Uh, I think this is named after Langdans. So uh, the first step is, okay, we want to prove this equality. So we take a difference. And uh, okay, of course I expect the difference to be uh, zero. Of course we, we are very far from that, but at least uh, one can show that the difference looks like uh, an orbital integral if you move gamma. More precisely, you have a uh, map, epsilon m tilde. It maps f to a test function on m tilde. It's actually something called cuspidal test function. So that the difference is it's, it equals the orbital integral on, gamma, uh, on m tilde of this uh, epsilon guy. This is the first step to vanishing. Uh, this fact itself is also non-trivial. It also requires a lot of analytic arguments. Uh, it's easier for non-Archimedean F, but for Archimedean F, we need at least three uh, ingredients. The first is we want to normalize the interplanning operators in terms of uh, local AL functions. But uh, this is for real groups, so you can calculate everything by hand. This can be done. And uh, secondly, uh, if you want to show something is an orbital integral on a Lie group, you need to check some differential equations and some jump conditions. So in our case, this amounts to stabilize the differential equations satisfied by orbital integrals, as well as the jump conditions. So again, uh, you can, we can copy the argument from Glenwas Fusion or Arthur to do this. Okay, so equality uh, is, is, is uh, established in a very long induction argument. So first we make induction on M, but also on, on G, but also on M. So if G gets smaller, then we are done. If the Levy gets larger, for example, if N equals G, then we are also done. And uh, we also, along the way, we also prove the global stabilization, but for some uh, special test functions only. And then we also stabilize the local choice formula for G tilde. And uh, after this, we can, Get the global stabilization for any f. So sorry, here the f is the global f, not the local f. So okay, so let me try to uh, sketch the idea. So the first is um, we transfer this epsilon guy to. to M shrink. M shrink is an elliptic endoscopic data by the usual recipe, right? I am just repeating some earlier definitions. So if we get, a, get something living on M shrink, so we can also transfer a 
we can also transfer our function f from g tilde to m tilde by probability descent or by constant turns. And then transfer this m tilde guy to n shrink. So this transfer guy can be viewed as a function on a regular stable classes by taking the stable orbital integral at that class. So, okay, so the, we can reduce, so the key local hypothesis uh, says, okay, once you do this, then you can uh, express the transfer of epsilon in terms of the transfer of F. These two guys are actually the same thing, but up to a coefficient, M, uh, epsilon M shrink delta the coefficient here. And then we want to prove the coefficient is zero. Uh, the local hypothesis itself is also done by a local global argument using a spectral side of global trace formula. So the ongoing lemma, so uh, says, uh, this vector epsilon is somehow imaginary. So the proof is based on local trace formula. Okay, so uh, to show the epsilon, the epsilon constant is zero, so we just have to show it's real because uh, something is real and the imaginary is zero, right? So. Uh, we are reduced to uh, following a lemma. So the epsilon constant is real. If you can show this, then you know this guy, this guy is zero. So the left-hand side is zero also. And now the transfer is something invertible. So you can go back to your original epsilon function here, uh, epsilon function here. And uh, we see that it, it vanishes. Okay, so, okay, so we are reduced to this, this thing. So, okay, so to prove this lemma, so remember that, okay, so epsilon is defined in a very complicated way, but Anyway, it involves the metapolitic group and uh, its theory of transfer, right? So to show that the epsilon constant is real, it amounts to uh, that the transfer is somehow isomorphic to its complex conjugate. So this is very rough because I didn't say what does complex conjugate mean in this setting and uh, what does isomorphic mean in this it's also uh, not very clear, but I think the idea is, is there. So, okay, so in our metapolitic case, if you uh, take a complex conjugates of everything in the endoscopic transfer, then this, uh, this trick can be realized by replacing uh, your additive character by its inverse or replacing the sympathetic form by its uh, negative. So this is sensitive, so the metapolitic cover is sensitive to the choice of all these data. So the problem becomes that uh, if you uh, accept the first item, then the point is to show that once you replace psi and the synthetic form by its inverse, then can you show the resulting uh, cover to be uh, isomorphic to the original one in some way? The reason is, uh, that's really a statement about the covers. The cover really matters here. So it can be done by so-called NVW uh, involution. Uh, in our case, this is not an involution because it goes from GT or that to its op opposite covering. Uh, if you reduce to twofold covering this, is uh, an involution, but here we are using eightfold covering. It's not really an involution. Uh, so, 
anyway, let's work with the two fold covering. Then this involution is just realized by conjugation. But it's conjugation by something from GSP. It takes something of a similitude, correct? similitude factor equals minus one. Then it acts on the cover and uh, give it, gives you what you want. All right, so uh, the same trick, okay, of course, uh, the, the trick is learned from Arthur and the um, Lenoir Studio. Uh, so in their case, uh, they use the Chevalier involution and the not on G itself, but on the endoscopic side. Somehow. But I think the, the basic idea is, is the same. So, okay, so by assuming uh, all these uh, ongoing lemma and the theorem and the hypothesis, uh, we should be able to uh, stabilize the trace formula for the metaplastic group. And I hope this has some application to the study of automorphic spectrum for, for these groups. And maybe also, uh, maybe it's also useful to, for the study of some other, some other coverings. So I, I think I, I should stop here. Thank you.